What's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here and today I want to teach you Joe Satriani's Faceless. This is a slower tune from his upcoming album The Elephants of Mars and I love it. I love the simplicity, I love the feel and though it sounds simple, when you try to actually play it, um, it's, it's more complex than what is on the surface because uh, the phrasing is so nuanced, you have to be very careful about how you're playing these notes and focus more on tone and nuance and just melody and good songwriting. And by golly, do we have a great song here. So let's get into it. Faceless starts with a piano intro, and I've arranged it for guitar. We can play this in standard tuning. I don't know if he's playing down uh, a half step or not, but there's no indicators in this song that makes it seem that uh, we benefit from going either way. So you can just play this one in standard. So we're gonna we're gonna play this. We've got this uh, E flat minor chord. <laughs> And then we drop down a whole step to a D flat uh, minor chord. Those last couple bars, you can't get it to ring perfectly. Um, so you, you do lose a little bit of that sustain when you arrange it for guitar. So then after that, we the, the rhythm guitar does come in. <laughs> Okay, so pretty cool there. Um, we're just doing G sharp minor bar chord into an E major chord, a B major chord, and a C sharp minor, and then a partial G sharp minor bar chord, and then this cool little. I experimented with playing that on uh, different string sets, and it seems to work best there. So that's what we've got going on. And that rhythm part, if you don't play all the notes perfect, it's okay. As long as you get the feel that doon, doon, cha, tika, doon, doon, cha, that's really the most important thing. And I've arranged it to where we have some nice voice leading there. So now we get into the lead guitar playing. What happens is we're, we're at 150 BPM and we've got a measure of nothing, just total rest. And then we come in on beat four of the second measure for the melody. So lots of room to breathe. And we've got this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, so that's our basically our opening melody, um, and you want to play with a lot of subtlety, nuance, don't hit very hard, and you can experiment with whether you're doing legato or sliding into the notes. You have a little bit of freedom there to choose how you want to do it, but those are the notes that are being played. Then we get this walk down using the B major scale or the G sharp minor scale, um, and we're literally just walking down the scale on the third string, so check it out. We got Now, Satch is dragging the beat a lot, which means he's playing behind the beat. So he's playing too slow for the band. And it really uh, just creates kind of a cool feel. So most musicians tend to rush and play ahead of the beat, myself included. So here we have to be very deliberate about playing slightly behind the beat. And sometimes he'll play on the beat, sometimes behind. You have to kind of listen to the recording for that. So then next, we go up a third in the scale, and we're gonna start from B. But we're only gonna drop down to the sixth fret as we descend there, and then we're gonna go up another third in the scale again, and start all the way from the 20th fret, uh, which is, what is that, an E flat. Kind of like that, okay? Um, I'm using the bridge pickup here, but you could also experiment with playing with, with the neck pickup. That might sound better. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I would probably play that with the neck pickup. Silly goose me playing with the bridge pickup the whole time there. Uh, okay, cool. And then we get kind of into, like, if that's the chorus, we would get into, like, our next little verse. Uh, Okay, I didn't play the rhythm perfect. I need to listen to the song a little bit more. Uh, those are the notes that are being played, but I might have botched the, the rhythm on that last little part. So look at the tab and listen to the song for to get that rhythm of, of that part. Okay, and then the next little bit's gonna go. All right, and then we're back to our chorus and doing our walk down again. It's going to go twice through. The second time, the keyboard goes up an octave uh, to add a little bit of texture. So now we get into my favorite part of the song. At 227, we get this really cool breakdown um, that, that goes in the chords. Best I can tell, let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong on this, but it seems like we have G-sharp to G-sharp sus4. Then E-sharp major 7, or E major 7 and then C sharp minor. Those are the harmonies being played, right? Okay, uh, so and then what the, what the guitar is doing behind that is we've got... That's kind of the first bit, what's happening, and most of that is pentatonic, but we're highlighting the major third of that G sharp on that uh, fifth fret. And we get that, that's kind of our outside chord in the key, and that, that's really cool. I like that dynamic that we have, because then when we get to the E major seven, um, that, that note, what is that? A, a C natural, or, in, yeah, that ends up having to resolve to either a B or a C sharp. And that tension is is pretty cool there. So then the next part, we get our first kind of fast run like this. Nothing too crazy happening there. We're basically uh, just playing G sharp minor blues. Uh, one more time, fast. I think it's a little faster. Okay, I kind of forgot the bar there at the end at first. But you get the idea. We're kind of almost doing the same thing we were doing before, but an octave higher. And then uh, at the very end of that, start with a little dip on that 19th fret. Right? So don't just play the note. Depress the bar a little. And then pull up a whole step. Okay? And you can check that by playing the 21st fret on the second string. Use your ear to find that note there. So then we get into this cool little uh, picking part that's not too terribly hard, but I almost kind of wish it was faster because it's kind of hard to actually play at this speed. Check this out. All right, so that is really neat because it, it kind of uh, outlines the arpeggios of these chords a little bit by at least targeting like we're starting on that major third of G sharp, which would be a C, really it would be a B sharp, um, but you, for simplicity's sake, we can call it a C. And, uh, and then for the G sharp sus, we start on that sus four. And then when we go to the E major seven, we have to resolve it to a B natural. Oh, I love that, I love that. And then we're G sharp minor pentatonic. Okay, and then we, we get this. Just think G sharp minor pentatonic up an octave from where we were playing before uh, in that box right there. So we've got rest. And 
and you're going to hold that for an extra bar. Um, everything's pentatonic there, except we're adding in a ninth that we're bending in a whole step. And that's when we play that 18th fret on the, on the first string. Cool note to add. So then we get here at the end, we get, uh, let's see. Mm, bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote it as a, as a ghost note because you hear a very quiet bent 19, but then you hear a very prominent one. So I don't know if we should play both or not, but I'm gonna just put them in there. So we have rest. Okay, and then the final one we get, what do we have, what do we have? We got. Let me put that together. So we got. Cool, and that's basically it. Everything else after that is just a slight variation of something we've already done before, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what's happening. If you would like the PDF transcription of this, you can email me, eric at Fort Worth Music Academy. I'll be happy to send you the PDF. Let me know what I got right, what you think I got wrong. I'd love to talk about it in the comments below. And uh, if you dig this, like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more Satriani videos as he releases new music leading up to the album. And even once the album comes out, let me know what are your favorite songs, what would you like to see transcribed. I've been Eric Barassa, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.